from KTV in Reno, you're watching 2 News at 6.30. Well, our numbers are astronomical of uh, cases that are occurring right now. Uh, we probably got five times that many out in the community in reality. Coronavirus hospitalizations and deaths are rising rapidly in Washoe County. The latest on the coronavirus pandemic here at home, Tops 2 News at 6.30. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ryan Canada. Thanks for being with us tonight. Washoe County's COVID cases are skyrocketing with four times as many active cases than just one month ago. Well, just today, Washoe County reported 538 new cases and six new deaths. More than 14,700 people have recovered from the virus, though. 241 people are currently hospitalized with COVID-19 here in Washoe County. That's up 11 from yesterday. As Paul Nelson found out, the morgue is also getting a lot more bodies. It has room for 200 bodies, but the chief medical examiner says that could be overwhelmed in a matter of weeks if we don't slow the spread. COVID-19 is taking its toll on our community. The disease has killed 65 Washoe County residents in just one month. 30 of those uh, just in the last six days. So we are seeing a, an increase in the number of people that are passing away daily from COVID-19. One of those deaths was longtime news anchor Brent Boynton, who died from the disease yesterday. I'm hopeful that our community uh, will um, learn from this and recognize uh, how serious COVID-19 is and that it uh, can uh, kill any one of us. The surge in deaths is putting pressure on the medical examiner's office. It has room for a little more than 200 bodies and about 10% of its coolers are in use. But if the rate of spread continues, it could run out of space. I could see a scenario where we double and double and then within about a six week period, we could potentially be filling our capacity. A plan is in place to add more storage at the ME's office if funeral homes reach capacity, possibly by adding more refrigerated coolers at mortuaries and increasing daily cremations. Locally and regionally, many of our funeral homes are approaching their full capacity. Um, we will continue to monitor that situation. The spike in COVID deaths comes as Washoe County has already broken a record for overall deaths in one year. We've already reached over 5,000 deaths um, and we've reached the total number um, of deaths from 2019 already um, this year prior to Thanksgiving. Covering the story, Paul Nelson, 2 News.